Hi guys, what's up? I'm Alan and welcome to another Obey Vape Review. For you today I have the Tesla. It is a beast. The Tesla 2 sub mod. Uh, this thing's tiny guys, it's the packaging as it comes in. It's quite smart. It's like a, a matte sort of finish. Uh, and it's got what you got inside. So. But I'm going to show you all that good stuff in a minute. Um, then it's got your normal caution warnings at the bottom. And then your scratch and sniff pad there. Uh, I've got it in black, so let's open it up. It's like a sort of little wardrobe -y. no, not wardrobe, but like a little t chest of drawers that comes in. I've actually taken the mod out, guys, so apologies for that. But you've got the box there, which is where the mod actually is. And down here, you've got the Vortec tank. I'm going to open it. I'll go through the, uh, the mod itself first. So, guys, this is a tiny little mod. Um, as you can see, I mean... That's in the palm of my hand, it, it's tiny. Uh, it's actually 22mm across, so any of your drippers and that, they should fit on nice and flush, so you don't want them overhanging. Um, <coughs> yeah, by 47, and it, I believe it's 76mm down, so if you've got a tape measure about, guys, you can see how small this mod really is. Uh, you've got your vent holes for your batteries and so on. Just there, charge port. Uh, it does have two built-in batteries, guys, so you don't have to worry about taking them out, charging them up, and all that good stuff. Uh, it is a 4000 mAh. I think that's how it's pronounced, 4000 mAh. This is a 100 watt mod, guys, so for the size of it, I mean, <laughs> putting out 100 watts is pretty good. Max output is a 4.2 volts. It reads down to anything to 0.1 ohm to goes up to 3.5 I believe um, I can double check on the book now uh, there we go yes it goes up to 3.5 ohm and then down to 0 0.1 um, voltage indicator guys as this is uh, sorry I should have mentioned this is an unregulated mod so it's going to drain the batteries you're not going to get the same power for the whole use of when you're actually using it um, unlike your regulated mods it's it's got all the bits and bobs inside it to uh, get the batteries using the same app house sort of thing. <laughs> Something like that. I'm not a great, I'm not all about that. I don't know a great deal about it. So just here guys, um, when it's in between 3.2 and 3.7 volts, this little button here will flash red. So that's giving you a warning sign. I should probably charge my batteries. Uh, it'll be blue when it's from anything from 3.7 volts to 4.2 volts. It's just simple flick five times it will flash it's on five times it's off unregulated unregulated mod simple easy to use tiny fits in the palm of your hand this thing if i had a shirt on i saw it on uh rip drippers uh video if it just fits in your pocket all the thing that only thing that's shown was the actual drip tip itself so moving on um sorry guys this is like a sort of matty finish i guess uh, that's what I was going to bring up. Oh, and this is also a spring loaded, uh, I believe, yes, copper plated spring loaded pin there. So that's all good. You're not going to have any issues there. So moving on, I'm going to go on to the coils. The on the Vortec tank, they're quite special. Um, I was having a look at them yesterday and I noticed something quite unique on them to be honest with you. So this one's brand new, I have got one in it in the uh, tank itself. But I haven't seen this before. Right, see, this is your juice hole. All you do is spin it around, you get a bigger juice well. And on them it says, so that juice well there is when you're using it. Sorry, I'm going to try and get it so you guys can actually see no it's not working right on that I can barely read it myself on that big hole they're saying recommended for 50 to 80 watts then there's a smaller one down to 30 to 50 uh, yeah oh, and that's it on this one sorry uh, this is a 0 0.2 ohm the one I've got it in there in at the moment is a 0 0.5 ohm core guys so yeah quite Interesting. I mean, it's a big old thing. I don't know what sort of build it's got in it, but it's an interesting coil. Um, moving on, let's go on to the tank itself, shall we? 
This is a big tank, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm gonna say I haven't. I just got any information. On it, to be honest, I'm gonna come with it. Um, you got your adjustable pin, at the bottom, as usual, as usual, as usual. Uh, airflow adjuster here. So you've got one both sides. You can switch the whole thing off uh, and open it up as much as you want, sort of thing. Um, the dripper, drip tip. It unscrews. Uh, it doesn't actually come with anything so you can put your own drip tips on. I don't know if there's something you can get for it. Um, I don't know, but it seems to me that it's a pretty standard. You've got to use their drip tip. But it's, it's not a problem. I mean, it's a big old bore on that. Um, not bad at all. Um, I like the overall design of this tank. It's very tidy. Uh, uh, <clears throat> this camera. If you can see it, it says Tesla Vortex. Not Vortex, because that's what I thought it was first. Um, to top it up, guys, from the bottom, it's not a screw or anything. You literally just, I may as well show you. Just pop it off. You don't have to screw it. And your juice oil goes in there. I mean, as you can probably tell, this is a, a big old tank. Um, and it's a good tank. Uh, that it comes in all the kit so um i'm not even sure if this is out this kit in the uk at the moment so i can't give you a price but if you go on debate distribution contact them guys they'll be more than happy to help you uh if you're interested in this little setup which i think is pretty cool right so i'm gonna check it on and give it a vape uh i have been using it so i know what it's like uh flavor that's what i think about this tank is flavor this is what this is built for clouds are right clouds vapor production whatever you want to call it is good um but the flavor is fantastic i've got my pure evil do -do 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 dust in again and it's just good it's really good It still lets off plenty of vapour. Um, it's a brilliant tank. Brilliant. Overall design, I mean, it looks massive onto the little uh, the Tesla 2 submod, but it's good. I really, really like it. Fant this is my first time I've actually used any Tesla products, to be honest, and um, I can see me getting a bit, few more of them. Um, I'm really impressed with it. So guys, that is the tank and the um, the little bit of mud that comes in this great package. Um, it's fantastic. I've been using it for a couple of days now. Uh, I wanted to give it a little run before I actually give you my thoughts on it. Uh, so a massive vape, uh, a massive vape, a massive thank you to vape distribution yet again, sort me out so I can do and get another review out for you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, subscribe, leave a like. Um, anything else you want to know about it, guys, please just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Uh, my Twitter, Vape Distributions Tripper, Tripper? D Twitter will be down in the link below, guys. So any questions, you can always go on there, chat to me in there, whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and... Um, I'll be back again with another review soon. Thank you. Bye.